Caring a lot about the future of the Arctic and acting on climate can make you feel tired sometimes. And I know not everybody's on the same page. I think what's important to realize is that not only does climate affect us all and that we all should be looking out for the Arctic, but we also need to be thinking about what's a barrier for people caring. And one of the key things here in my home state of Montana, you know, we still get half our power from coal. We've got a thousand folks and their families who rely on that. They may not be in love with coal, but they love being able to provide for their families. So in any of our discussions that deal with acting on climate, we need to remember folks who are more concerned about the end of the week or the month, and that all of our efforts need to be both just, but also quick when it comes to acting on climate and transitioning to both renewable energies and policies that get us away from fossil fuel. That helps us temper our expectations. We're in this long haul together. And if we take a marathon approach and bring folks across the table and to the table, we're gonna be able to take care of this. We have more in common than we have apart. And we look to our fellow citizens and we look at how their lives are impacted by the work we do. We can see benefits and we can share benefits together. When we're looking out for each other and we're taking care of each other like brothers and sisters, that's better than alienating each other. So climate action is gonna take that marathon approach and being able to sit across the table from folks who may not be like us, but we can find shared value. And so that's a huge part of moving forward. Looking towards every election and every candidate as a climate candidate or a climate election, and being able to continue to have the important conversations around climate action, even if you don't use the words climate change. In my home state, it's a non-starter in some communities, but if I'm chatting with ranchers, we can talk about drought or late season stream flow. And if we're in, in cities or with different generations of folks who may not be able to readily wrap their head around a very hot political topic that's become climate change, we can talk about what their family cares about and what they want to leave for the next generation. We have a lot in common when it comes to passing down a good world to our children. And continuing to have that angle is going to help us bring more people on board to the marathon that is climate action. So I thank you so much for continuing to follow our work. You're as much of this as I am, so thank you for all of the energy everyone is putting into this. And we look forward to keeping you up to date when it comes to what's happening at the international level. Thanks.